Hello everyone. Here is an application of differential calculus in real life situation in solving word problems. We have here a word problem. An inverted conical tank has a height of 8 meters and a radius of 3 meters at the base. Water enters the tank and rises at one third of a meter per minute. How fast is the water being supplied in the tank when the water is 4 meters deep? So in order to solve this kind of problem is to have uh, a good working illustration of what's indicated in the problem and what's being asked. So we better understand what's being asked in the problem and solve the problem. It says here an inverted conical tank. So we need to have an illustration of this inverted conical tank with its dimensions. Height 8 meters and radius of the base is 3 meters. So this is a sketch of the inverted conical tank. So we have here, here is the base. We have here the height. That is eight meters. So this is eight meters. And the radius of the base is three meters. So since this is inverted, so the base is on top, this is 3 meters, 3M. Okay. So you see water enters the tank and rises at one third of a meter per, per minute. And so the supply, there must be a supply pipe somewhere here. All right, considering that's the... Uh, supply pipe and water is flowing from there and then says there the question is how fast is the water being supplied in the tank when the water is four meters deep then we have here the depth is since this is eight so four meters deep is about half of that so we can extend that so at this point So this is the height of that uh, water in the, in the tank, that's 4 meters. And the condition says here, water enters the tank and rises at one third meter per minute. So the water is rising at the rate of one third meter per minute. So assuming we have the level of the water inside the conical tank at this level all right so we have this okay. so based on the problem what's being asked is here how fast how fast is the water being supplied in the tank when the water is four meters deep how fast is the water being supplied? What does it mean by that? It means the volume of water being supplied into the tank. So the volume, we signify the volume of the water being supplied as Q. But once it gets in the tank, it adapts to the volume of the inverted conical tank. Well, let's say Q here, the, the volume will be equal to the volume of the conical tank. Once it's poured in, it adapts to the volume, to the curvature or internal configuration of the conical tank. And here the formula of volume is one-third pi r squared h, where r stands for the radius of the base, like in this case in here, and h stands for the height of the cone. So in here, h is 8, and the radius is 3. And since here, condition the water rises at one third of a meter per minute, when the, the depth of the water in the tank is 4 meters. So this condition is when height is 4. So how fast is the volume? 
being supplied in the tank at this instance when the height of water in the inverted cone is 4 meters. So to solve the problem, we have to, to connect the height and the radius into the formula of the volume right here, where it stands for the volume of water getting supplied. So we have to express R in terms of H. So in order to find the relationship of H and R in this formula of volume, then in this illustration, we have to do a ratio and proportion. And we take the cross-section of the inverted conical tank. And we indicate that uh, cross-section will be in the form of a triangle. So we have this. All right, so this right here. So we're transferring this right there. Say over here, somewhere there. All right, that's uh, just a rough illustration. Now we have to label this. Now we have this, and the water is rising one third of a meter per minute. And the radius on top is three meters. The height, height here, is eight meters. Radius on top is three meters, and height is four. From here to there. So we need to find for the value of r over here. Okay, so from here, from this formula, we'll be using the uh, derivative of the volume with respect to time. And we, so that means we're getting the derivative of height with respect to time, since we have the rates uh, one-third uh, meter per minute. That's the rise of water in the tank. So we have here now, from the formula, Q is equal to one-third pi r squared h so we take the derivative of this formula so in here now so derivative q is equal to we set this part as a constant so now that is one third pi r squared times the derivative of h the height so that is derivative of h with respect to time this is derivative of q with respect to time also. Derivative of q with respect to time. And we have here this variable h over here. And we have r. We have r here. When uh, dh dt is the, uh, the rate of the uh, water rising in the tank. So that is one-third meter per minute. And we have here r. So we need to find the value of r. That's not the r one there, but this r right here when the height is 4 meters. So by proportion, we'll be getting the R right here. So this proportion right here, so R, so R is to 4 equals 3 is to 8. So 3 is to 8. So R is equal to, consider that, 1 half, 2. And now R is 3 halves. So that's the value of R or that is 1.5 meters okay now we have r so we have to substitute that value r into this equation and derivative of height with respect to time in here one third meter per minute so we'll be solving for the rate of water being supplied in the tank okay so we have here now dq dt is equal to one third pi times r squared, where r squared is three halves squared, or one point five. Yes, square that, and the hdt is one third. All right, one third. Okay, the qdt, the qdt is equal to. 
since this can be simplified further as 1 3rd pi times 3 halves squared, that is 3 squared over 2 squared times 1 3rd. So we ended up canceling all of this, 3 and 3, 2 3's right there. So it will end up pi divided by 2 squared. So we have here the value of the QDT now is pi divided by 2 squared. So that is our final answer. So from here, if we were to find out the unit of this, the rate of the volume getting uh, supplied in the tank is we derive it from here, where R squared, that is M, that is M is squared, and DHDT is the rate of the height with respect to time. So that is, that is meter, that is per minute. So we have here meter squared times meter, that's meter cube or cubic meter, we call that one. So this is now cubic meter per minute. So m cube divided by minute. So that just simply means cubic meter per minute. So that's how it is. Or we can also express this value into decimal point. The QDT is equal to 0.785 cubic meter per minute. So this is our final answer. All right. And so that's all for now. And for those new to my channel, and for those who have not subscribed to my channel yet, I would appreciate it. You can hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, everyone. I will see you on the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.